Today's guest on Morning Tea is one of the most influential designers of his generation. He's created everything from furniture to household products, from clothing to the interior of a plane. Mark Newsom, welcome. Thank you. Full mouth. You're an Australian based in London, but the breadth and scope of your work suggests to me that you're really a good old Italian boy at heart. I'm very much influenced by that culture. I mean, one of the great things about design is that it's, it's truly global. Design is something that, that really can appeal to anyone. But the thing about design is that, you know, unlike fashion, it's not like you design, you know, several collections every year. You know, the, the, the sort of gestation period for a product can be, you know, on average two years, so. Well, like an elephant. Yeah, kind of. More than any other designer working today, you play limbo with the markers of art and design. Mm. And now you have another exhibition at Larry Gagosian, conveniently. Well, the exhibition is entitled Transport. So, kind of uh, uh, about things that involve getting from, you know, A to B. And most recently, a boat that I designed for a company called Riva. Mm -hmm. What's um, it going for? The boat is about well, I better not get into trouble here. Somewhere in the region of 1.2, 1.3 million US dollars. And, and this exhibition is really more of a museum show because the only thing that's for sale is, is, is the boat. Riva boats are like the Birken handbags for men, aren't they? There's a long line of plutocrats waiting to get their hands on them. I think it was like that. I'm not sure if it's like that anymore. I mean, it, I, I have images of, you know, Bridget Bardot and, you know, all these kinds of, you know, Richard Burton and Elizabeth Taylor driving around the, you know, the French Riviera. You know, they were very popular in the um, 50s and 60s, really. That was the sort of heyday of the classic Riva. We'll get a Riva, you get some action by the sound of it. Apparently, yeah. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll let you know next summer. <laughs> what made you get into design in the first place? I, I can remember, um, you know, knowing about Castiglione since about the age of 10 and various other Italian designers like Joe Colombo. However, I didn't really um, set out to be a designer, and indeed I didn't study design. I studied uh, jewellery, I mean, in, a, in an art school. You know, I thought I, at one point I was going to become an artist. Um, and then I um, ended up majoring in jewellery, so learning how to become a jeweller and, and a silversmith. Maybe you can do a line of bro jangles. Huh. Well, jewels. <laughs> funny you mention that. I just designed a necklace for a, a, actually a whole range of, of pieces for a company called Boucheron, a French, a big old, French luxury. Yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah, you know Boucheron. And I designed a, um, an enormous kind of necklace, which is based on, uh, on fractal theory. So it's quite a kind of mad, a mad piece that sold for a huge amount of money. But <laughs> um, so, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm still kind of open to, to doing all of those mm -hmm. kinds of things. You have a long standing relationship with fashion, and not just because you're married to the stylist, Charlotte Stockdale, but You've designed shoes for Nike, you've designed clothing for G-Star. Mm. Um, are, are you entertaining any future fashion plans? No, not really. Um, I, don't, I don't really perceive myself as a fashion designer in any sense of the word. And the reason I, I took up the offer from G-Star to design a range of things was that, you know, as a consumer, as a male consumer, um, you know, I feel sometimes very frustrated by, you know, how difficult it is to buy things that I like. Is it too harsh to say that fashion designers are the second-class citizens of the design world? No, I don't think so, but I think there's a huge difference as a dinner liar. I mean, he's truly a kind of a fantastic visionary designer and has been for a very long time, and I think... Um, he did a shoe store, right? Did a shoe yeah, store yeah. for, for Azadine, yeah, and, and I think he can truly be referred to as a designer. I think at the other end of the spectrum, um, you know, most uh, fashion designers mm. are really more fashion stylists. Now, while you're in New York during Fashion Week, are you going to catch any shows? No, but I'll be back in November for the Victoria's Secret show. Okay. That's kind of one of the highlights of my calendar. It sounds like you're a busy man, so thank you very much for joining us. It's been a pleasure. Thank you very much. Cheers. See ya. Iman gave me a air kiss.